Hi everyone, this video is to show you how to translate the user interface on Socialmonials. And just to be clear, this is not a new feature. This is basically a demonstration of another piece of software that one of our clients in Japan is using for their reseller program. So they are reselling licenses of Socialmonials to people in Japan, and they needed something other than the Google Chrome's built-in um, translation feature. Um, so I want to show you what they found because I've tried it myself and it works great. It's working great for them as well um, out in the field. Um, what you're looking at here is the Spanish translation of our software. And it's pretty remarkable how quick it is. Um, just before I start demonstrating and showing you how to implement this yourself for your own location, um, there is a cost to this. They charge um, $50 per month. So it's a little expensive, unfortunately, but I've checked some of the others and this is the only one that does a good job of this. Um, for $50 a month, you get two languages. So if you're straddling um, a couple of different territories that use a couple of different predominant languages, you will always get the native um, language of the software, which is English, plus you'll get two more. So, you know, you could have um, you know, Chinese, Japanese, and English for $50 a month, for example. And it allows you to do some amazing things like customize the translation. So it automatically does it for you. But if you don't like a specific phrase or word, you can very easily change it. So let me go back to the software. And as you can see, everything is in Spanish. And when I change it back to English, look at how quickly it changes. It's just immediate it detects where your users, um, actually not where, it actually uses the browser's default uh, language setting. So if their default setting is um, Spanish, then when they come to the site, it will instantly show them the Spanish language. And if it's English, it will show them English. And you can set a default as well when it can't detect it. So it's pretty amazing. Um, what I wanna show you though is how to implement this. So the first thing you need to do is start an account with them and you can take a free trial. Um, I believe it's a 14 day, maybe 15 day free trial. Um, that's what I'm doing. My trial ends in three days. So I wanted to get this video out to show you guys how I pulled this off. It was incredibly simple. So everything is done within projects. You only need one project for this. And let's go to the project overview. Um, this is the first thing you're hit with when you set up an account. They give you a project key, which you really don't need. Um, phrases and pending, we'll go over that in a second. The important thing is the setup guide. So here's how you start this up. Click setup guide. They already create the um, code snippet. Just click this copy button over here on the right and go back to Socialmonials. This only works if you have the um, white label in agency dashboard enabled. And that is anybody who has five or more workspaces can do this. So just head on over to white label, go down to other settings, and right here where it says replace our chat widget with yours, this is a good place to add additional scripts. So if you have you know some kind of third party, let's say Google Analytics code you wanna add here, you can always do that. And it will deploy that script on every page of your workspace along with all the workspaces that roll up into your agency dashboard, including your custom sign-in screen. Everything comes through, um, whatever you put here goes through to those pages um, no matter what. So what you do is just paste in that script and check this box first and then paste in that script and that's it. Um, there are a couple other steps I wanna get to but then you wanna make sure to click save. And immediately what happens is Socialmonials is going to start pushing data over to Localize. And when you go to Publish, for example, there are a couple of things you're going to want to do. Um, what, what I did personally, I waited a few hours because it takes a while. There's over 3,000 phrases that get pushed over. And there's some hidden ones that you're also going to have to uncover. Um, and what I mean by that is, let's say... Um, you hover over this after a few hours and it still shows as English instead of Spanish. Well, now that you've hovered over it, it's going to translate it. So basically, whatever your browser or any of your client's 
browser's display while they're in your agency dashboard, it's basically any of your workspaces, it's going to instantly send it over to the translation service and it will be waiting for you to approve their recommended translation. So to show you what that would look like is if you go back over here and you click over on phrases, what you care about is the pending. So just to give you an example, I just pushed a new feature live this morning that allows you to push Pinterest to multiple boards. Well, already when I logged into Localize and they sent me an email letting me know there are new phrases, they already have um, phrases in here regarding that. So let's see, specific, where is that? Okay, in progress. I'm sorry, I was in the wrong place. So pending needs approval is what we care about. So these are waiting for approval. Notice how now it says Pinterest boards because before it said Pinterest board, add new board. So all of the different things um, to avoid spam penalties, we will post to each board. All of the new things that appeared just automatically came up here. It's pretty incredible how it works. And what I have done this entire time is I select all and I approve them. But if you don't like it, you can change it. So you'll be able to um, change it to whatever uh, they want to translate it to. Um, so just approve. And if you want to make that change later, you can always fine tune and uh, make the changes to uh, whatever it translated. Uh, they also have translation services. If you have deep pockets, you can actually get a human being to go through and make sure the translation is spot on. Um, but they do use Google translation. They, you can change it to Amazon translation and there's a couple of other services you can use, but Google seems to be the best. And, um, and that is what they default to. So going back, um, there's a one-time thing you're gonna have to do, as I mentioned before. I would go through every screen of the software and make sure you hover over every information icon so it instantly sends that over to them. Click every dropdown so it exposes those options. And you'll just have to go through every page that has a dropdown or uh, one of those information bubbles. Dropdowns should all be translated. If I were you, I would just wait until you know, wait until tomorrow, let it work overnight, and whatever's left over, go through. I believe it automatically did most of my dropdowns. And um, one thing else, let's see. When I went to Workspace Preferences, it was a bit of a disaster. It didn't translate anything back here. Because of these accordions that open and close, none of these translated for me, but they are now. And the way I did that was I just expanded them and hovered over this, expanded the next one. It's pretty much immediate. So once it expands and you just go on to the next one because the script is sending back whatever it finds. Because we use JavaScript to uh, create these accordions, it's just something you're gonna have to do. And here's another information. Hover over that once and just go through everything and you'll never have to do it again. It'll remember what you had set. So now that you've gone through everything, everything should be translated next time you go into the phrases. <clears throat> so I hope this helps. Um, we've had many requests for translation, but um, you know, for us to do it so everything gets translated costs us thousands of dollars a month. Um, unless anybody watching this knows of a much more affordable service, you know, we just can't afford to translate into all the different languages, our entire software. So in the meantime, this is kind of a great workaround and it's relatively low priced at $50 a month. So let us know in chat if you have any issues setting it up. Um, we are happy to help. Thank you.